Hey guys, Elite Strategies here. Today I'm going to be showing you the top 10 Cydia tweaks and applications on the marketplace of 2013 for all iOS 6 devices. First, let's go ahead and get started with Winterboard. Winterboard is a very useful application because it allows you to customize the themes and appearance of the iPhone. For example, you're able to change the size of icons, add 5 icons to your dock right here, and there are a bunch of different features that you can change your iPhone to look like. The next application is Barrel. Barrel allows you to change the transitions between your home screen pages. As you can see, I have a 3D effect which is called Cube Inside. Cube Inside adds a 3D transition between my pages and makes it look a little bit more futuristic. Once you download Barrel from Cydia, it will come with an application that you can access. From here, you're able to choose all different transitions between your pages. For example, if I hit curl and roll away, my applications now turn into a circle and refold back into its normal position as I transition through my pages. For the next application, Activator. Activator is an easy app that allows you to add certain gestures for particular actions. For example, if I would like to access my home page, instead of hitting the home page button installed on the actual iPhone, I can set a gesture for pinching all five fingers together to access my home screen. Basically, it makes things easier if you'd like to access a certain application, or it all depends on whichever you would like. The next tweak I really like is Color Keyboard. Color Keyboard allows you to, allows you to customize the color of your keyboard and the themes of it. For example, as you can see, my keyboard is lime green. It adds a lot different de uh, more details than the actual original outline of the normal Apple keyboard. Once you download Color Keyboard from Cydia, you can go to System Preferences and you will find all the settings for Color Keyboard. From here, you can select all different themes and all different colors. As you can see, there's blue, brown, copper, emerald, lime as I have it set. So this is just a basic idea of the many applications that Cydia has. The next application I really like is Password Pilot. Password Pilot automatically types in your iTunes passwords or app App Store uh, passwords without you having to type anything in. So, if I were to go to the App Store and I wanted to download an actual application, all it would do is automatically type in my password when I click install, and it would install within a couple of seconds. The next tweak I like is Switchy. Switchy adds multitasking features to your multitasking bar. For example, as you can see in my Switchy bar, I now have two rows of applications in my multitasking bar, which makes it a bit more useful because I can have a more broad view of all the applications I have running offline. Also in this, you're able to change the volume, access your music menu, uh, add portrait lock, play music, airplay. In this, you can also access your settings application and adjust the brightness of your screen. For the next application, I highly recommend downloading Adblocker if you use the internet a lot or you use YouTube on your mobile device. What Adblocker does is removes all the ads on websites and on YouTube without you having to do anything. Once you install this on, from Cydia, it will automatically block all ads placed before YouTube videos or any ads included on certain web pages. For the next app or tweak, Kill Background. Kill Background is very useful because when I access my multitasking bar, rather than having to clear each offline application individually, it adds a button at the very bottom right of the screen. When you click this, it will automatically clear all your offline applications. As you can see, when I hit it, all my offline applications are cleared. For the next application, Bytefont. Bytefont allows you to customize the font of the iPhone. Basically, when you download this from Cydia, it will come with an application called Bytefont. From here, you can download a broad variety of different fonts for your iPhone. Once you download the best font that suits your personality, you're just going to click it and respring your device and it will restart your iPhone with all applications using this certain font. In order to restore the original Apple font, you're just going to go ahead and click Restore Original and it will apply it and you will just have to respring your device. For the last Cydia application, I love this is my ultimate favorite application because my iPhone has been stolen many times and this application allows you to track your 
someone who has stolen your iPhone. So here's what it does. I caught you. When you download this from the apps uh, from Cydia, it'll add system preferences for I caught you. Basically, if you have a passcode lock on your phone and someone has stolen your phone and tries to access your phone by typing in random passcodes, if they fail the attempt for passcode more than twice, you can set it as one. If they fail the passcode uh, more than twice, I usually keep it at twice. If they fail it twice, then it will automatically take a picture of them and forward it to your email or whichever destination you would like it to be sent to. So basically, these are the top 10 applications and tweaks on Cydia for 2013 iOS 6 devices. I hope this helped you out in choosing any applications you wanted to know, or if this helped you find an application you were trying to look for. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.